part of my motivation in 81, when I really got, got started trying to do something in science fiction, big part of my motivation was my distaste for where science fiction, where science fiction had gone. The book was the book was published, and then it won its three science fiction awards. I had started with sort of a copying copying this pose of uh, I'm beyond genre, you know. I'm like I'm breaking I'm breaking out. Dylan is going electric now. Live with it. Then they gave me all their. <laughs> They gave me all their awards. I kind of went, "Oi, what am I going to do? What am I going to do now? I've got like, I'm wearing these like sci-fi badges every, everywhere I go. They're all over my books. They're going to be selling, they're, they're going to be selling me on that basis. Ever since then, it's been this sort of gradual, gradual journey out of, of my hometown of science fiction, which really is where I'm from, but I, I don't, I don't necessarily want it to be entirely what I'm about. I think one of the differences between the writers I identified with and a lot of the writers within science fiction is that for me science fiction was a narrative strategy and for them it was a genre and so I and that was that's very awkward when you were it's like Thomas Pynchon can use science fiction as a narrative strategy, or Margaret Atwood can use science fiction as a narrative strategy, and not be saddled with the baggage of genre in in the same way. And some of the the one of the downsides of genre fiction is that one is one is expected, whether this is, one is expected, although it's seldom put this way, to provide the same thrill over and over again. The positive reviews are the ones where the reviewer has simply been willing to go along with the ride as presented. and. The negative ones, it seems to me, are ones where the reviewer harbors the expectations of, of the genre and experiences, experiences the book as a disappointment or a failure in terms of the genre, when in fact part of the book's strategy is to, as frequently as possible, run counter to those those very those very expectations. But I can't really blame them for doing that because then there's the problem of how the book is is marketed. So if the book is marketed as a thriller, one has certain expectations as a genre reader, and one is going to be disappointed. I mean, I actually feel some sympathy with some some guy getting on a really long plane flight with his brand new brand new copy of Zero History, but what he really wants is is Ludlum or Clancy, and he's just going to have a terrible time. My advice would be to go to go for it. Because if you can really do it well, it may be a hard sell, but you're actually going you're going to attract you're going to attract some attention. Just doing doing what a given genre requires and staying very, very carefully within its limits doesn't offer much in the way of, of career possibilities. I, 
I wouldn't think. It's like becoming, becoming one of the guys who writes the Stephen King novels when Stephen King hasn't written one. So they sort of, you know, you become a sort of infill for some bigger writer in your, in, in your genre. And I don't know, it would, I, I, would, it would, I would rankle to be in, to be in that, sort of, that sort of position. Mm -hmm.